Hello guys. Well, finally a flip through of my anthology journal, well anthology entomology journal. Um, I really love how this turned out. So, how big is she? I think it's five by nearly eight, seven and three quarters. Um, made from my Ada and Gertie book. Really love how it turns out. Quite a vintage book. It's quite chunky on the um, got vintage buttons on here and on here. I've actually only just finished putting on there. This is actually antique sari silk. So um, it's all fray, but I love the way it it works. It just works really well with the books. Got the bookends on here. So um, yeah, we'll just open her up and see how she has turned out all our hard work okay most of you have probably already seen lots of these bits and pieces so i've got this which i will um write a little message for the person who um is lucky enough to get this and then i've got all these cute little tags in here lined with vintage um, the wallpaper and then I've just finished making this which will be a, a um, new series that I'll be starting about how to use um, book pages so um, that's the first chapter of the Ada and Gertie so I just sort of had that as a, a flip in it's another little tuck spot using the die cuts from the anthology journal here is the um the dyed distress dyed ink paper which i um hand stitched onto there then i've got another little clipping from my nature journal so that almost like my eco dyed paper where i did the leaves and then pressed it and i added some extra of these little tabs here's the little tags I take them all out so we can have a, have a sticky and I like how these turned out so you've got tuck spots are plenty and these are all um, places that you can journal on these tiny little things put that in there like this layer upon layer Edith Holden oh. another little tab Didn't, um, that on so you can probably make that into a little tuck spot if you want to here's another piece of that um, ripped off edge which I stitched in and I was going to put them into tuck spots these are the tags we made but I thought I would just pin them in I think because and there's a little tag and everything that's in there um yeah they're quite bulky and so i thought it was just easier to attach it with a little paper clip and then it's got a little leaf on there as well a little dangly okay there we go some more dyed paper coffee dyed paper Another one that you can make to be a tip in if you like. A little tag. Here are these that we made. Got another little bit in there. And here's the tags. And here's the Edith Holden centre page, which um, I accidentally put in upside down, but it still looks pretty good. I wasn't going to, un I couldn't undo it once, I've, once it being in, but these things because it didn't have any writing on there but it still looks really nice here's a little tag for in here and then an another one here and the gorgeous paper love this paper more coffee dyed another piece of that we'll flip out it's got plenty of space for you to do your own bits and pieces made that into a little tuck spot the other side of the Edith Holden page the butterfly very pretty coffee dyed paper 
Distress Ink Paper, another one of these. I've got the little beetle. That one goes in here. Yep. And then two more little beetles on the top there. Okay. Be careful with these. And that's the back of the first signature. And then the sign second signature, here's this um, another tag. I don't think you guys have seen this one. This is one I actually made off camera. That's a tiger moth. Another tag within a tag. And then the other side is um, the writing on tiger moths. So I really like those, so I thought I'd put those in there. And then put that back on there like that. You need to do it that way, Link. There we go. And I stitched, and then this one's got I had a bit of fabric. It feels really nice. It's got that real tactile feel about it. That's sort of like that eco dyed fabric that I've got. And there's another one, Chocolate's Full, Mexican Beetle, little bug, and then this one here. like that one, it sort of reminds me of a um, ladybug. Another Edith Holden um, paper, little bird, and flip out, and stitched. Really pretty. Eco, not eco dyed, um, from the nature book. That's where I was going to initially put those tags that I made, but they were just too bulky, so I thought oh, I'll just put some really nice um, tags in there. Love this paper, I love the colour, and it's a bit, a bit thicker. So, more tabs, more of this paper. But I didn't want to overfill it, it's got the bits that it's in there, it's quite nice. So, that's um. Really love, love that. And here's another tag. Butterflies. Beetle. This is the centre page of the second signature with another Edith Holden paper. Beautiful. Another tag. And that one goes so nice. It's just a writing tag. what you can do with your leftover gutted pages that you have. Oh, I think this one's come off. There we go. And here's that uh, one of that first tag that we made. Love these. I think they're beautiful. Put that back on. There we go. It's got about a hundred and twenty pages either side. Um, this has got this beetle, little rock garden, some more silverfish and bed bug. There you go. Everyone wants a bed bug. And then this actually come from my um the Edith Holden book as well. There we go. Made that into a tuck spot as well. The other side of the Edith Holden page. We're gonna glue it on. Yep. There we go. Really pretty. Lots of birds and beautiful nature ones. There you go. And then this has the end page, which has got a grasshopper and and um, what else? Different grass and hoppers. More foliage and a moth. And then this last one, envelope. There we go. So there's plenty of little tags and heaps of spots for you to journal. I'm really happy with how this has turned out. It's so pretty. Um, well, pretty, but probably you could say it's more lovely than pretty. But um, yeah, in the way that it just sort of sits like that. I think it looks really nice with the little tags in there. So this one will be for sale on my Etsy store. 
Um, and thank you guys for watching and maybe creating along with me and participating. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you with my next series of 10 things to do with um, book pages of all sorts. So, um, yeah, okay look out for that one thanks guys i really appreciate uh all my subbies and everyone for watching and creating along with me i really enjoy doing this um tutorials and um stuff for you guys and for myself of course because i love it see you guys bye